In this video, I'll be turning your submitted drawings into realistic adaptations. Whether it's a monster, cute figure, landscape, or whatever else, I'm using Photoshop to either turn these into adorable images or your worst nightmare. W welcome to Realistify. And gentlemen, welcome to this brand new episode of Realistified, the show in which you know what it means by now. Let's just get right into it, shall we? Before we do, though, unfortunately, I have only two drawings for today instead of three, you know, studies and stuff. But don't worry, because these two are both on a whole other level. If you want to send your drawing for the next episode, make sure to send it to bennyseditshow at gmail.com. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and then let's check out the first drawing for today. This drawing was sent in by Andrew. I'm Andrew. I drew this and it took five weeks. I hope you like it. Thank you very, very much, Andrew. This is one super cool drawing and I'll do my best to bring it to life the best way I can. Let's go and start up Photoshop. I'm going to start by tracing the base uh, shape. So I'm just gonna grab the pen tool and draw all over the edge, which later I can fill in with textures and everything. So that's when it starts to actually look good. And there you go. There's the shape, which I can move around and do everything with. So that I'm going to fill with textures to be exact scales. So I'm gonna put that inside of it first roughly where the yellow stuff is gonna be then i'll set this blend mode to luminosity and make it a tiny bit lighter like that and guess what this is going to be a whole lot of warp again i'm thinking this should be pretty good except for the yellow area but that's fine and some more back here i gotta try to make them connect as best as i can it's not perfect but i guess that's no, that's not good enough. I'm pretty sure I can make that better with a tiny drop of liquify. Now that is a mess. Just pushing in the edge a tiny bit, which hopefully is going to make it look a tiny bit more round. Yeah, I think for now that's fine. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's go and add some shadows because this is absolutely sad. It's sad. So at the sides, I want to add some shape because right now it's way too smooth. It just doesn't make sense. Now let's go and make some shadows. This is going to be one huge gamble. I have no idea where the light is coming from, but I guess I'm just going to go with an ambient shadow for now. It's already getting some shape there. The yellow stuff is going to be prettier though. This is just really temporary. And then more up here. I feel like this is... Hell yeah, that's that's something, at least. And finally, the tail and everything. I think I'm gonna work on this yellow stuff for now, because this is... Well, it's it's nothing, it's plain. Now, this next step is gonna be a shit ton of work, um, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just making tiny shadows to hopefully make it look a tiny bit more 3D, but I'm not really sure if this is working. That, that needs some work. This is taking so long. And that's only the first area then. Could have been worse, not gonna lie. Let's make another shadow and make sort of a gap. There you go. Slowly getting something here. Let's put some on this edge as well. This is actually not bad. And now this same thing I'm gonna have to do for this area and that area and this area. So I'll be right back. Miracles exist, ladies and gentlemen. This does not look horrible. So I'm pretty sure this is the biggest part of the whole thing. So let's see what else we got. For its head, I found this, which I thought could actually be pretty good as a base. So I'm gonna try to match the shape. Put this a bit up like that. And then the eyes should be a whole lot bigger. That's for sure. So I'm making a quick shape for that. There you go. And then let's use some liquify to change the shape to make sure it looks a bit more natural and not, you know, weird like it does now. That's looking pretty solid. Then I'm gonna make the lower jaw. So there's the basic shape. Let's already add some shadows as well. That's starting to look pretty nice. Now that I think of it, I'm pretty sure this is the first actual dragon I'm making in Realistified. And that's kind of like, first of all, it's, it's really hard to do because you have not a lot of reference material. Second of all, it's just a lot of work. Like I need to do a lot of stuff myself and therefore it just takes up an incredible amount of time, even though it doesn't look like it. So that's why I've been avoiding these all this time. But I, this time I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I just felt like it was the time, you know? Then I'm also gonna make a quick shape for the inside of the mouth, which is going to be red. Some shadows inside is 
his mouth. It's all coming together quite nicely. So this is looking a bit weird so far, but there's going to be teeth covering all this, so it's fine. That's pretty cool. But right now, the whole thing is still black and white, which I will fix later, because first I'm going to finish the entire head. So once again, a shape for those sort of horns. Freaking beautiful. And of course, some shadows again. You know, at this point, I don't even think you can call this shadows anymore. This is just 3D painting or something. I don't know. I mean, it technically is shadows, but that is looking pretty sick though. Let's do the other one as well. If YouTube isn't it, I'm going to be an opera singer. I put on a hoodie because I was cold. Anyway, uh, next for those uh, hairy, uh, you know, for this hair back here i thought why not just use this which seemed a great plan to me however to make it look very nice and wavy i'm gonna have to use warp once more and here it goes up again then let's paint back the areas we want and then i guess i could use some fur brushes to make it look you know realistic at the edge by the way literally 10 minutes ago the razor chair got delivered which i was getting so that is very nice i'm gonna set that up later today and then uh, maybe in the next drawing I'll be sitting in it. Who knows? I think this will look pretty cool. Then let's add some shading to this as well. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Let's actually color all this stuff as well because this is kind of lame. So this should all be blue or at least a shade of blue. Now that is starting to look a bit better. I also want some more highlights back. However, in the drawing, not the whole thing is this color. For example, this whole area is supposed to be green. I'm thinking this is pretty close. In the drawing, the head tint is a bit brighter and less vibrant, but I think I actually prefer this since it's kind of the same color as the body. And that I kind of like, so I think I'm going to keep it like this. Then I've got some of these tooth, which I'm going to put somewhere and a bit of shadows and highlights, of course. Now I just got to fix the final part of his body, which I don't feel like doing, but I'm going to have to anyway, because well, that's how this works. So I'm going to make a shape again. And I I guess that is pretty close. I don't really like this, but uh, I guess if you look at the whole thing, it's not that bad. Now, I think it's time for the claws. I mean, there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on, but the claws are really important right now. So I'm going to do those. So guess what? I'm going to make yet another shape. I mean, at this point, it's really all the same. So I'm just going to go over it very quickly. Then I got this texture again, but it shouldn't go all the way to the end. It should just fade out. Shadows. And then the weird sort of flubber that's stuck to it. And some highlights. And unlike the rest of his body, these arms should actually be like really vibrant blue instead of that teal kind of color it has right here. Two limbs done two to go. So that took way too long, but I have now finished all the limbs, at least the bases, because there's a whole bunch of other random stuff that's attached to those limbs. For example, this orange stuff here and the green sort of fur that's all over the place here and there. There's a lot. And there's also these red sort of, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff that still needs to be done. So I am going to do that in a speed edit because I have no, no idea how I'm gonna do that. I might look for some more images, I might do it just manually, I'll see. So yeah, enjoy.
there you go, there's the dragon. The style seems a little different from what I usually make, but I kinda like that. The Chinese symbol behind it says dragon by the way, for those who were wondering. If you'd like to hang this up your wall on a beautiful metal display, make sure to check out the link in the description to purchase this for my displayed collection. Thanks to Andrew for sending this drawing to me, I'll make sure to send this back to you as soon as I can. One little thing before we move on though, recently I made a super special video in collaboration with the rapper Vaz Angelov and it's called a Photoshop tutorial but it's a rap. Now it didn't get a lot of views at launch but I'm sure you will enjoy it as I've put hours and hours of work into it. So if you want to see that do not hesitate to watch it after this video, I'd really really appreciate that. Now, the next drawing is totally different from the drawings I'd usually choose. I guess I wanted to try something new. This drawing is made by Silent Wolf. I'm wondering if you could try make my art into reality using Photoshop. Absolutely, this drawing is clearly inspired or based on the Mars Attacks franchise and I kinda dig that. Let's go see what I can turn this into. It all started with a row of freshly brushed teeth which I transformed and cleaned up a bit. Then I made a new shape layer for the rest of the skull, extracted the eyes and started adding a bunch of shadows to make it look at least a little 3D. I don't remember ever relying this much on shadows and it went kinda well. I guess I'm learning too. After that I added textures to add some detail, after which I did some highlighting. For the most friendly eyes I used some 3D models from Envato Elements. The size of its irises wasn't really correct though, so I fixed that. After adding some shadows I copied the whole thing to his other eye socket. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Then for the jaw, this is also a 3D model which I used warp and liquify on to match the original drawing as accurately as I possibly could. That's when it was time again for some shadows to make sure it's shaded similarly to the rest of the skull. Then the brains. I used a few different images to create the whole thing. I stitched them all together and tried attaching it to the skull as it was. Once that looked good enough, I did some coloring, masking and shadowing to really make it look like one big harmonic juicy Martian. It looked a bit questionable at first, but I figured it would all come together fine at the end. Like it always does. Usually. Then for those little flubbery things at the sides, I created some more shapes to which I then added the same shadows as the rest. I added some more textures, adjusted the colors and did those same things for the other side. The drawing has a tongue though, so I threw in one of these as well. I added the usual stuff to it, including shadows. To finish all the organic bits of Mr. Big Brain, I yeeted a neck image in there which I warped and added shadows to. And so I tried adding the original colors from Mars Attacks to his forehead, but later on I decided that wasn't really looking all that nice, to say it nicely. I guess this was just an alternative realization of the Martians from Mars Attacks. Inspired, I believe they call that. The body was a whole new thing though. I started off by tracing all the separate parts of his main body, and these I'd later fill up with textures and everything.
starting with the chest plate, I added a brushed metal texture to, which I added some quick shadows to to give it at least some shape. It all was a bit rough still, but it was really just trial and error right now, and boy what an awful lot of work that was. For the more detailed parts, like the circles in the center, I did the same thing, creating shapes and adding textures and shadows. They all looked slightly different from the original drawing and surely different from the movie, but we already knew this wasn't going to be accurate to the movies anyways. I also decided to ditch the tubes at the bottom since I couldn't find any good photos for that and I'm lazy as heck and I didn't want to draw those myself. All of a sudden that glass thing was there, I guess that footage got lost in mysterious ways. But uh, anyway, to add some weathering and detail to the chest plates, I added a rusty texture to it which I spread all over the place. For the clothing pieces, I added a fabric texture which I turned green and started adding some shadows to. The same process happened for the arm on the left. To make him look a bit more angry and mean, I lit up his eyes and added some glow to him. I know the originals didn't have that, but doesn't this just look way cooler than before? Since the gun in the drawing is nowhere near the original gun design, I went wild and used a water gun as a base, because why not? I removed some areas and added some to keep the basic idea the same, again with a bunch of shadows and stuff. I made it blue to match at least the original gun's color and then started making the hand holding the gun. It's really just more of the same from here. To make the glass look a little bit more realistic, I added a subtle texture to it to make it look slightly damaged. That worked surprisingly well in my opinion. For some final effects, I thought why not put some fire down there to cover up the fact that I didn't add those tubes down there. I added some glow and light on the Martian to make him pop a little bit more and to add some more drama. Some sparks seemed in order, so those I added as well, using some spark overlays. I also wanted to add some more glows and effects to the whole thing to make it a little more colorful and intense. And intense. That sure made it look more interesting. Finally, I added a camera raw filter to spice the whole thing up even more, and there you go. There's the Martian from Mars Attacks. This one, once again, seems to have a little different sort of style from what I usually do. It's kind of interesting to see, as I've been making the same sort of stuff for a while now. It's, uh, 
it's refreshing. Thanks to Silent Wolf for sending over your drawing. I'll make sure to send that back to you ASAP. So these two are the ones I realistify today. If you want to send yours for the next episode, make sure to send it to bennyseditshow at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out my display profile for this dragon print or some other ones you like. And also don't forget to watch my rap Photoshop tutorial, which should pop up in the corner right about now. Then I guess that was it for today. If you like this video, let me know by smashing that like button and leaving a comment. And if you enjoy my overall content, don't hesitate to subscribe with notifications on for it's a totally free way to support me big time. Then I hope I'll see you in my next video.